Perfect. think getting fired by Elon Musk is something you should wear as a badge of honor. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys so Thank much, and I can't wait back. to see you guys soon. You, I know, you know what I, I mean. Know. We know. You know what you mean? Jim, I, I think somebody got to him. Uh, Don Lemon. We haven't talked about Don Lemon in a while. Uh, Don Lemon, uh, as you know, was fired by CNN. He is a terrible journalist. He is a hack, partisan clown, I would say. I was kind of friendly with him for a while, but he's just, he's just everything that's wrong with everything in the mainstream media is kind of summed up in Don Lemon. So Don Lemon, uh, fired by CNN, what was that, I don't know, about six, eight months ago, uh, he decided to start a new show on the anti-mainstream media network, that is Twitter, platform really, not network, it's a platform that anyone can be on. Uh, and Elon Musk decided to go on Don's first show to, to help him out. I don't think Elon particularly has much respect for him or anything else, but I think it was like, oh, here's a guy that's known, he's coming on my platform, I'll sit down with him. Uh, and it did not go well. Clip one, please. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to I don't Democrats, have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly. Was... I could care less. <laughs> Just so incredible. Like, Don, did you learn nothing? Like, you're still running cover for the people that are anti-free speech when you are no longer part of their machine? Like, that's, you get Elon Musk, he's doing you a favor, and that's what you're asking him? You're asking him if he's... Uh, being too free speechy, like, it's just absolutely absurd. By the way, I'll be sitting down with Elon Musk soon. We're working it out. And, and you know, in, in the last year or so, where I've visited him a few times and, and some of the Twitter file stuff and all that, I've gone out of my way to never ask him for an interview because I was dealing with serious issues and, and wanted to kind of get that side of it out. I finally, a few days ago, I actually, I, I asked him for an interview a couple days ago and he's like, okay, do you want to do it now or, or what? I was like, well, I'm going away. We're, we're going to make it. I'm like, the guy is so accessible. He's doing everything he possibly can. And to, the, to his point there, I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. I'm only doing this to help you, you schmuck. Anyway, then Don went on the network that uh, fired him to talk about why uh, he's not happy with Elon Musk. I mean, it's so, it's like, Shakespeare would, would envy the story. It's so insane. So he go, he gets fired from ZNN. He talks to the free speech guy, gives him shit for free speech, and then goes on the place that fired him to complain about the guy that was giving him free speech. But it's very good for, for Don because what happens? He's now in the news. So they took him over to the Harpies at The View. And uh, well, there's, there's some lies and confusion here. We'll get to that in a sec. Take a look. Challenged him on that. And you asked me what he didn't like, and it's really, Facts. It's this, yeah. right? Okay. Let's so uh, this is. Let me. Can I set it yeah, up for set you? It up. So this is what I. You know. You remember what happened with the Alaskan Airlines plane yes. when the yes. door fell off? Yeah. And then there was a woman pilot who, the woman who was piloting the plane, but they landed safely. And then he tweeted about it, saying DEI, basically saying DEI was making the skies um, unsafe. <laughs> but less she safe. landed it safely. But she. That was my point. <laughs> so, <laughs> they need to know what DEI is. Do you believe that women and minority pilots are? inherently less intelligent and less skilled than white male pilots? No, I'm just saying that we should not lower the standards for them. But there's no evidence that standards are being lowered when it comes to the okay. airline industry. You've repeatedly said that there's no evidence that standards are being lowered, and watch the replies showing all the evidence that it is. Replies, replies though, on social media or on Twitter are not necessarily fact and evidence. No, that's, they will just, that's people's they will, they will opinion. Cite all okay. the, all the, all, the replies, we'll in the replies to this, you will see how often the, this, the, the information cited showing that indeed there are significant uh, cases where uh, standards are lowered. <coughs> oh. So he just so, believes conspiracy theory. Well, Explain to them what DEI stands for. Not everybody knows. Diversity, knows equity, and inclusion. Basically, right. it's making sure that they're, you know, that. The workforce reflects the population right. of the country, right. for women, minorities, for all people, right? right? But the, the, the whole point of that exchange was Boeing took responsibility for that, yeah. saying that it was a faulty door. And it was a woman pilot who landed who the landed plane safely. Yeah. Wouldn't, doesn't that mean she's qualified? Right. Without incident. And, <laughs> Maybe know. more qualified. Yeah. Well, you can see that sexism and misogyny is not rational. Well, very quickly, because we're tight on time, you yeah. asked him about his meeting with Trump. Did he give any indication? He said at this time he's not yeah. backing anyone specifically, but did he show his hand on if he would support Trump? You'll have to watch a list. Oh! <laughs> you have to watch a list.
after watch. He did, though. He, and I'm just, I'm just having fun with you. He did talk about the meeting, why he went down, the context and the venue they were in. Mm -hmm. uh, and he did talk to me about what the president, the former president. Well, brother, I think getting fired by Elon Musk is something you should wear as a badge of honor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys so Thank much, and I can't wait back. to see you guys soon. You, I, know, you know, I, I know. We well, know. know what you mean. You know, I, I think somebody got to him. You think he so? He knew what he was getting into, and then no, he no. thought he could come on. He's, he's, he's not stupid. He knew what he was hiring. He's, he's a, well, Somebody well, got Tara to him. Tara Swisher calls him a toddler child. Like, what, what did you call him? Uh, I don't right. know. It's a, it's a, watch, to you, Don, watch. You're going to see. Thanks to Don Lemon. His full interview with Elon Musk, by the way, premieres Monday. He was not fired by Elon. There was no contract. He was just putting his stuff on Twitter. He was not hired, so Joy lies, and he was not fired, so what's her name? Anna Navarro lies. He just put stuff on Twitter, like you put stuff on Twitter if you're on the Twitter, right? That's it. He was ne There was no contract. He was never paid a dime. Now, you would think that Don Lemon, who's a journalist, might say, oh, Anna, actually, that's, I know it seems like he fired me because we got into a little spat. Actually, I'm still on Twitter. I'm allowed to be on there. We never signed a contract. I was just using his platform to get the word out there. But they lie about absolutely everything. Here's from the New York Post. This is what Don wanted for his craptastic show. Don Lemon demanded a Tesla Cybertruck, a $5 million advance, equity in X before Elon Musk canned him. Sources, well, first off, again, he didn't can him or fire him or hire him in the first place, but Lemon made, and by the way, he has made a point of saying repeatedly, Elon, that he is not giving deals to people. In other words, if I took this show to X to live stream every day. He doesn't give you a deal. Maybe they'll put some ads on it and you'll get something. But Tucker, whose show is on X now, there's no deal. You just are on the platform and, you, and then it will serve ads as it would serve ads to everything else. But Lemon wanted $5 million advance. I can tell you without getting too insider baseball on this, the idea that Don Lemon could generate $5 million for a show he's doing per year is absolutely insane. I know a little something about the subscription game right through Locals, and I know a bit about the uh, video and ad game through Rumble and everything else, and having been on YouTube for a decade now about roughly what shows generate. Nobody, there is not one person, show me one person on God's green earth who would pay $5 a month to Don Lemon for his show. There is nobody, maybe someone at a mental institution, but I don't think they have access to money. That would basically be it. So, so you demand a cyber truck and 5 million, absolutely insane.